photo, Robert Radel, Getty Images Egypt boss Hector Cooper has affirmed that he remains hopeful that the pharaohs leave a remarkable mark in the upcoming 2018 World Cup in Russia despite the injury of star player Mohamed Salah. Cooper led Egypt to the first World Cup tournament since 1990 after finishing top of the qualifying group with 13 points from the six games. The Pharaohs were drawn in the World Cup's Group A alongside Uruguay, the host Russia and Saudi Arabia. Cooper has renewed his declarations that the team's enthusiasm and ambitions are the same even though they might kick off the World Cup against Uruguay without star player Mohamed Salah. I still maintain the same hopes and ambitions and I will not lose that. Injuries happen and are possible in football and that's why I stress on the importance of team work despite the significance of Salah for the team, Cooper told the Egyptian FA website. Our enthusiasm and ambitions are the same. We are confident in our ability to overcome any difficulty. I hope to achieve positive results in the last friendless, especially against Kuwait. However, there are other aspects that might not be visible to the fans and media where we are making progress in. Photo by Robert Radel, Getty Images. The most important thing for me now is to end each training session with no injuries. We are trying to take care of each detail even if it is a small one with attention. I hope that we don't face any unpleasant event in the coming days. The slightest error is unforgivable right now. We are trying to find the balance between defense and attack before heading to Russia and we have a strong desire and will to achieve that. The former Valencia coach has stated that the Egyptian player is competent enough to succeed in Europe and has all what it takes to flourish abroad. Egyptian player truly attains all the capabilities of a world-class player, this is a fact and is evident through the fact that there are Egyptian players playing in big European leagues and displaying great performances like our players in England. It is possible that the Egyptian player needs to be concentrated and improve himself all the time. He just needs to adapt to other cultures when he moves abroad where there are other rituals and traditions. When will Egypt score more than one goal per game? This has happened indeed, we scored more than once. But the most important thing for me is to win, that's the school I belong to, which is doing whatever it takes to achieve the victory. As a coach I give the priority to avoiding defensive mistakes and this might be a different philosophy to that of Egyptians, all in all, you won't find me working on anything except reaching the final objectives that are required from me and which the contract agreed between me and the Egyptian FA sites. The contract terms contained reaching the Africa Cup of Nations and the World Cup, not the number of goals we should score.